Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We'll continue 3.7. Hopefully this will be the last one. Uh, now we're talking about this angles. Uh, problems involving with the angles. Like in this one, what we have? We have rocket traveling at this. The way that the, the rocket is traveled. And this, they give it here. It's 50 T square. This is 50 T square. And they have the angle. The camera or the angle or. And this is 2000. This is the question. What they want? Find. D theta by DT. When t equal 10 and t equal 10. And also he gave us uh yeah, that's it. And he gave us the function s. So now I want to relate this number, which I know it, with s with the angle. So we look at the angle. I want the opposite with the adjacent. What kind of formula I need? I need tan theta, which is equal S over 2000. But S is 50 T square over 2000. And that give me what? T square over 40. Okay, now if I differentiate respect to T. No, this is, is, is in terms of T. So I have what? Secant square theta times D theta over DT equals what? T over 20, DT over DT, which is one, equal T over 20. Hmm, we are done. The remaining is to find secant square theta. So d theta by dt will be equal t over 20 times, I divide by secant square times cosine square theta. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Or, or I can do a trick before that. I can say this secant square, since I know theta, I know tan theta. So I have one plus tan square theta times d theta over dt equal t over 20. Now I'm done. So tan theta, I know it's t square over four. So I have one plus, uh, now, 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 now we can do the calculation. Uh, that implies d theta by dt is what t over 20 times 1 over 1 plus tan square. Theta. Let us do the calculation t equal 10. That implies tan theta is what 100 over 40, 100 over 40, and that is 5 over 2. Like the numbers. That implies d theta by dt would be equal to what? Will be equal uh, 10 over 20 times 1 over 1 plus 25 over 4. And that will be half times 1 over or 4 to the board, 4 over 2, 9. And that will be 2 over 2, 9. That's what I'm looking for. So the idea is very simple from the this triangle. I need the tan. I have this relation and it gave me S in terms of T. So I just plug it so we can find tan theta. Differentiate. Now I can substitute since I know T. And I use this so that I can deal with tan theta easily. I hope it's clear.
Nothing. Just we did this and we did the calculation. Differentiate, did the calculation. Okay. A man walks along a straight path. We have a straight path. A man is walking. So we say X. His distance, his until he reached something here. Dx by dt is 1.5. A searchlight, a searchlight, there's a searchlight here with six miles. Uh, six meter, meter or mile. Okay, everything in the, the units are okay. Who, who cares? Okay, so I want to do what? I need to find what? This is, there is a, an angle of that search light where it's rotating when the man is moving. So I need to find the rate of, the rate of rotating to the angle, so d theta by dt, when x equal 8. This is what I'm looking for. So I want to relate x and 6 and the theta. So we'll do what? I have this is the opposite, this is the adjacent, the same thing. So I have tan theta, x over 6. I want theta. So I can differentiate now. So that will be secant square theta, d theta over dt, equal 1 over 6 dx by dt. This is given. This I don't know, but I know x. So I can do the same trick. I can say this is 1 plus tan squared theta, d theta by dt, equal 1 over 6 times 1.5, which is 3 over 2. And that is 1 over 4. So now when x equal 8, tan theta will be what? 8 over 6, which is 4 over 3. So I have what? 1 plus 16 over 9, d theta by dt, equal 1 over 4. That implies I have 25 over 9, d theta by dt, equal 1 over 4. So I have d theta by dt equal 9 over 4 times 25, 9 over 100, which is 0 0.09. OK, next one. There is a hot air balloon. There is a balloon moving forward. So it's as here, so going up all the way. OK, rising straight up. From a level field, that the level field, is tracked by a boy. There is a boy here, 100 meter. His distance from the, on the ground from the lifting point, and this is the balloon y. So dy by dt uh, equal 50. Units are okay. Minute okay. What they want? Then the rate of change of the boy's elevation angle. This is the elevation angle. So I need d theta over dt. Find it when theta equal y over. Okay. What is the relation? I want to relate this y and the 100 with the theta. The same thing. I will use tan theta equal y over 100. Differentiate secant square d theta over dt equal 1 over 100 dy over dt. I know the angle. I know everything. So d theta by dt. What will be secant square? Now substitute secant y over 4, square root of 2, square it. That will be 2 d theta by dt equal 50 over 100. So that means d theta by dt equal 1 over 4, which is 0.25. That's it. Angular elevation, another one. You have an airplane going in that direction. So it's, um, what do you call it? It's, um, it's, um, it's, it's uh, position is decreasing. 
and notice that its, it's position is decreasing. So what, what we need to do, we want to check the angle, uh, angle, angle of elevation. But notice that it's, 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 this is going in this, so it's every time the, there is the, it, will, it will be decreasing. OK, so I have this. This is 5. This is theta. It's like this x. They are the same. But dx by dt, altitude 5, this is 5, the altitude, over an observer, the speed is then 600, but the dx by dt it will be minus 600. Because as the airplane is, is going towards this, this x will be decreasing. Okay. Later, if the angle elevation is changing. So find d theta by dt when theta equals 30. So what kind of relation will do 5 and x? Tan theta still. Tan theta will be 5 over x. That means secant square theta, d theta over dt, equal minus 5 over x squared dx by dt. Notice, as I said before, the speed of the airplane is 600, but dx by dt will be negative huh? because it's, it's decreasing. OK. Now just substitute. I'll do only when theta equals 30. I don't think we need the other ones. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know x. So I need to do some calculation to find x. OK. Yeah. We need. We need to find x. What is the value of x? Okay. Or and do one simple calculation. Yeah. Since I have only I have tan theta. Let me do it in another way, 5 over x. That implies, since I have dx over dt, no need to deal with x, I can say x equals 5 cotan theta. So now when I differentiate, no need to find x. Or, or you can do it calculation, this is like a triangle, you can find x. But instead of that, uh, that equals 30, I think you can find x. Okay. Uh, yeah. Since tan theta is 5, I know theta, I can find x. So it's 5 tan 30. Uh, there is another trick. Let me do it this way x equal 5 cotan theta. If x equal 5 cotan theta, now we differentiate. That means dx by dt, which no need now to find x, will be what? Minus five cosecant square theta times d theta by dt. And dx by dt is 600. That means minus 600 minus five cosecant square theta d theta by dt. So d theta by dt would be what? I divide by 5 and 5 equal to square is 120 sine square theta. Now, if theta 30, plus d theta by dt will be what? 120. I know sine 30 is half times 1 over 4, and that will be 30. On airplane flying horizontally at a constant height, there's a constant height, okay. This is the constant height, 1000. Above fixed radar station, this is fixed radar station. At the certain instance, the angular elevation, so I have d theta by dt equal by over 4. Okay. No. He said d theta by dt is not by over 4, decreasing at the rate of this. So it's minus 0.1. What you want, find, I want to find the distance 
between the station and the aircraft, which is Y. So I need to find dy by dt when a t equal by over four. That the coach. This one line, if I make this, this is one thousand. So this is, will be the same. One thousand. Since it's it's flying horizontally at a constant height, one thousand. So now this triangle, I need to relate one thousand with y. What kind of relation is this? Opposite with the opposite with the hypotenuse. So I have sine theta equal 1000 over y. So that implies y equal 1000 plus secant theta. You can differentiate here, but it will be needed to differentiate the derivative of yeah, it will make it complicated. But now when you simplify it. Now I can find dy by dt right away. That will be minus 1000 cosecant theta or tan theta times d theta by dt. Just substitute what theta, theta equal by over 4. So that will be 1000 cosecant by over 4 square root of 2 cotan by over 4 1 d theta by dt is minus 1 over 10. So that will be 100. The square root of two. Watch it this. Way. Yeah. Now these are the shadow problems. Now we have the shadow problems. What shall we do? With these shadow problems. A straight light is mounted in the top of five meter tall pole. Okay. And then this is five meter. A man two meter. Okay. Walks away from the pool with with the pole with this. With the pole with this speed. So this is x. So dx by dt, I give it us as 3 over 2. Along a straight path. How fast is the shadow? This light will make this is the shadow. So this is equal to y. So I need to find dy over dt when is 10 meter from the pole. So x when x equal 10. This is what we want. So first I need to find the relation. I know this is similar triangles. Since I have this is the big triangle and this is the small one. So I have 5 over 2 equal this, which is x plus y over this, over y. So I have y equal to x plus 2y. I'm looking for what dy but dt, so it will be right in terms of y. So I have 3y equal to x. So y equal 2 over 3x. So dy by dt equal 2 over 3 times dx over dt. What is dx over dt? You give it to us as what? 3 over 2. So 2 over 3 times 3 over 2, that would be one. Spotlight in the ground, okay. Shines in a wall, 10 meter away. This is 10 meter. This is the spotlight and this is the wall. A man, two meter tall, okay. Walks from the spotlight towards the building. This is X. With the speed, dx by dt is equal to two. When the man, be careful the statement. What they want, they want this. This is the shadow. With the spotlight in the ground, this is a bit of shadow. So I need to find dy by dt when? When the man is four meters from the building. Four, this is the building, four meters from the building. This is, will be 10 minus x. That means when x equal what? Six. Okay, now let us do the relation. Similar triangles. I have y over 2, and this is, we need this 10 over x. In other words, y equal 20 over x, and it's dy by dt. So dy by dt will be what? Minus 20 over x squared times dx by dt. And that is
that is minus 20 over 6 square over 36. Yeah. Times 2. That's minus 40 over 36 minus 10 over 9. It's decreasing. So decreasing at this rate, 10 over 9. Among two meters tall, walks directly away from a straight light that is eight meters high. This is eight. This is done. Okay. The man, oh, how long is he? Two meters tall. Okay. What we want, this is the way, this is his walking. We want to have how fast is the shadow. So we want this. This is y. So I need dy by dt. That's it. But it will be what? It doesn't give me a win. Only dy by dt. Okay, let us see what will happen. So I have 8 over 2 equal x plus y over y. That implies 8y equal 2x plus 2y. That implies 6y equal 2x. That implies y equal 1 over 3x. So that implies dy by dt equal 1 over 3 times dx by dt, which is he gave it to us 32. So I have the, I forget to mention this, dx by dt equals 3 over 2. So that will be 1 over 3, which is half meter per second. Put in the ground, shines in a wall 10 meters away. What? Then the difference is not a woman walking two meter. Who cares? Two walks from the spotlight towards the wall at the speed of this. So I have this is the way she's walking. Dx by dt equals three. When the woman is four meter from the building, the same idea. This is ten minus x. So they want the length of the shadow, which is y. So dy by dt equal what? When x equals six. Actually, sure, almost the same question. So I have what? What is the relation? Y over two equal ten over x. In other words, y equal 20 over x. So dy by dt minus 20 over x squared dx by dt. And that gave me minus 20 over 36 times 3. 1, this is 12. So it's minus, divide by 4, minus 5 over 3. So because that is a decreasing at this rate, five over three. Decreasing for the minus sign. Yeah, I think these two will be the last one in the shadow problem. If a man 1.5 meters tall walks at a rate of three meters, yeah, same idea, from a light above the ground. The light is above the ground. And he walks away from this. He walks in this direction. So this is his walking is 1.5 dx by dt equal 3. Okay. This is 6 meter above the ground. Then the letter if you link the shadow, it changes when it's 6 meter from the base. So you want to find dy by dt, this is y, when x equal what? 6 meter from the base of the light. This is the base of the light, so when x equals 6. Okay, so what we have, we have 6 over 3 over 2, which is 4, equal this, x plus y over y. So we have 4y, equal x plus y, so I have 3y equal x, or you can say y is 1 over 3x. So dy by dt will be 1 over 3 
the x over dt, which is three, so that will be one, which is this. Okay. Now we'll have this problem, and I will solve b, then a. Okay. Because we did b many times, so let me do it again. A man six meter feet tall, within feet, walks at the rate of this, away from a light, that is 15 meters, okay. And this is the light, and the man is walking this way. And this is six, and this is 15, this is x. And then on dx over dt, dx over dt will be what? Ah, five. This is equal to five. And you want to find this part A. dy over dt when x equal 10, when it's 10 feet from the base of the light, okay, which is x equal 10. Okay, so I'll make this y, do the relation. I have 15 over 6 equal x plus y over y. 15 over 6 is what? Divide by 3, 5 over 2. So then that is 5y equal 2x plus 2y, 3y equal 2x, so y equal 2 over 3x. So now implies the shadow. He's asking about the length of his shadow, how it's changing. This is the shadow. So dy over dt will be equal 2 over 3 dx by dt. And that will be 2 over 3 times 5, which is 10 over 3. Okay, now we'll come to part A. What they want, this is B, want what rate is the tip of his shadow. What's the meaning of the tip of his shadow? This is the tip of his shadow, which means it will be affected by x and y. So tip of his shadow it will be d over dt of x plus y. And that, since it's only sum, dx over dt plus dy over dt. dx over dt given, and dy over dt I just calculated. And that gives me, what, 25 over 3. Okay. Now let us go, go quickly with these four problems. I think, I'm not sure, should I do it in details? Let us try to do them in details. You have this relation, 1 over r, 1 over r1, plus 1 over r2, where, uh, where dr1 by dt equal 1, and dr2 by dt equal 3 over 2, 1.5. Find dr by dt when R1 equal 50 and R2 equal 75. This is the question. So it means I need to do, do the derivative at the same time for these ones. Uh, you can do it right away, or you can simplify R. I have 1 over R will be R1 plus R2 over R1, R2. So R, capital R, will be R1, R2, over R1 plus R2. I'll differentiate this expression better. So I have dr with dt equals, I have product, product of R1, R2, that will be R1, dr1, steps, dr1 over dt times R2, plus R1 dr2 over dt, all of this times the numerator, the denominator, minus R1 R2 times dr1 over dt plus dr2 over dt. All of this, R1 plus R2 squared. Yeah. So I just substitute, you get it. Yeah, the numbers are very complicated. Uh, let me try to simplify as much as I can. The R1, 1 times R2, that will be 75 plus 
R1 is 50 times 3 over 2, which is what? 25, 25 again, 50 times 3 over 2. That's 150 over 2, which is 75 again. Okay. Times R1 plus R2, 50 plus 75 minus R1, R2, 50 times 75 times, what is this? 1 plus 3 over 2, which is 5 over 2. Over, yeah, 50 plus 75, all square. Just completed calculation. Okay. Let me go to this problem, which is nothing. Just, but uh, the only new things is this is the law of cosines. Which relate the, the angle and the, and, and three, the three sides of, of uh, triangle. Just you need to apply this and that's it. What they want, this expression maybe explain everything. This is seven, this is three, this is X. And they want, find the velocity. So they need dx by dt. This is an example in the book. When theta equal by over three. What you need to do? B is seven. This is B square. So I have seven square equal a square three square plus c square. What is c square? X square minus two ac minus six x cosine theta. So I have what? 49 minus 9. This is what? This is plus. So I have 40 equal x squared minus 6x cosine theta. That's the relation. You differentiate, substitute, you get everything. Oh, also he gave me d theta by dt. Huh? We have d theta by dt is 200 revolution per minute. I know in one revolution equal 2 pi. So that give me 400 by radian per minute. I mean radian. 2 by radian. One complete revolution. Okay. So this is d theta by dt. Differentiate, we get everything. There is one thing. If theta equal y over 3, I can find x. Then I have 40 equal x squared minus 6x. What is cosine by over half? That means 40 equal x squared minus 3x. So I have x squared minus 3x. Minus 40 equals 0. So I have x minus 8. x plus 5 equals 0. So I have either x equal 8 or x equal minus 5 is rejected. So x equal 8. So now we'll take this. Differentiate. We get what? 0. 2x dx by dt. This is product. Minus 6 dx by dt cosine theta minus 6x plus sine theta, d theta by dt. This is, you know, theta we know, cosine we know, x we know. This is what we are looking for. So we find dx by dt. I will leave it for you to do the calculation. Actually, you can see it in the example in the book. Okay. This is a seems very complicated one. However, it's very easy one. Look at the picture, rectangle shown in the figure. He want the area of the rectangle. What will be the area of the rectangle? Area is the length times the width. What is the length? This is the length, which is the x value, or the y value, which is e minus x squared over 2. What is the length? Or what is the width? I mean, this is the length, the width. This is x. This is another x. So it will be 2x. That's the area. What they want? 
find the rate of exchange, find dA by dt when x equal 4 and dx over dt equal 4. Just only differentiate this and I will leave it. dA by dt product will be 2 times 2x. The derivative of this with respect to t, that will be 2 dx dt times e is minus x squared over 2 plus 2x times derivative of this e minus x squared over 2 derivative of this which is minus 2x dx over dt minus x minus 2x over 2 which is minus x dx over dt. Plus, like the numbers, you get everything. I have dx over dt4, so that will be 8. E minus 4 square, 4 square 16 over 2, so it's E is minus 8, plus, here I have 8, E minus 8, minus 4, times 4. So just do the calculation, you get it. So it will be 8. This is 4. E is this plus 2 times 4 e is minus 8, the same. Minus 4. So we have 8 minus 8 times 16 times e is minus 8, which is what? 8 times minus 15, which is you can, you can find 80 minus 120, e is minus 8, okay. Yeah, correct? I think so. Okay. Now the last thing, I think this is the last one. I will not solve it. I just take it really because it's one of the suggested problems. I will not solve it completely, just will explain it. I wish in the top of 12 meter building, we have 12 meter building. Close the by with the same length. That's same length, 12. This is 12 through a rope. Okay. Okay. So I have this is X and Y, and this is S. Okay. You want what? Is it called it S? As you read, the winch pulls the rope in the rate of point two, point oh two, minus point two. So ds by dt minus point two. Okay. Find the rate of the vertical change, and if take this is x, this is will be the vertical change. This is the horizontal change. Uh, yeah, no, this is the horizontal change, x. This is the vertical change. Okay. So we'll call, this is the point, x and y. So we'll call this y. This is 12, so this is 12 minus y. Okay. So what we want, yeah. what we want, uh, yeah, we want to find dx over dt and dy by dt. When the change of this, and then the divide when y equals 6. When y equals 6. Okay. Notice I have two triangles. This one, where I have the relation x squared plus 12 minus y squared equal s squared. So I have this one, but I have the relation x squared plus y squared equal 12 squared. Okay. You have y, you can get x. You get x, Substitute there, you get S. 
Now, if I differentiate this, I'll get a relation between dx over dt. I have two x dx by dt plus two 12 minus y, actually minus it will be minus dy by dt equal to s ds by dt. I know this, I know this, I know y, I know x. So dx over dt, these are the, the things I'm looking for. Now, if we use this, I have a 2x dx over dt plus 2y dy over dt equals zero. I know this, I know this. So I have two equations, two unknowns. We solve them. We get dx over dt and dy over dt. I will not solve it. Yeah, very complicated. Calculation numbers will be very complicated. Just yeah, but this is the idea. The idea is very clear from here. We have two triangles. This is one triangle. And this is the another triangle. The rest is just a calculation. OK, I think this is enough for uh, 3.7. Uh, let me stop the recording. Thank you.